one day away from the Anchorage Assembly expected to vote on whether or not to confirm newly appointed Anchorage Police Chief Sean Case. The case spoke with our investigative reporter Johnson Kuhn about some of the big things he'll handle in this new job, including violent crime and the body camera policy. Johnson? Mike, after first reporting Friday on a draft of an updated body camera policy being released, that, that the appointed chief telling me major differences proposed ahead of his confirmation vote tomorrow. But I think the way the policy is as of right now is, is what you're going to see in the future. Newly appointed Anchorage Police Chief Sean Case says he does not expect to see APD's updated body camera policy change from the draft released last week. It now includes a 45-day release period and streamlining the viewing process for families like Chris Handy, who police fatally shot in May. Yeah, we'll reach out to the Handy family next week and uh, let them know about the new policy, whether they've seen it or not, so that they know that there's a new policy in place. And then if they want to see the video, which I believe they do, we'll set up that, uh, that meeting so that they can take a look at it. Staying on the topic of body camera footage. Push that fear of crime down a little bit. Case stressed clear public communication. Uh, we've looked a lot at the evidence, reviewed a lot of the video footage. Saying while he appreciates the importance of not releasing information to protect an investigation, ultimately he feels a lack of disclosure creates more problems. And if the police department doesn't provide that information, the community is going to find bits and pieces of it, and then they're going to create a narrative that may not be accurate. It's going to increase fear, and it's going to increase conversations that may be outside of what actually happened. Ahead of his confirmation vote, Case also says he intends to prioritize fighting a recent rise in violent crimes. It doesn't make the community feel safe when they live in an area where you have five police officers involved shootings in, in less than a two-month time period. So, so that's concerning to me. Uh, and we're going to look at all of our processes, all of our training, all of our tactics to make sure there's anything that we can't do better. We talked to the chief for that interview Saturday in Eagle River, where Case also told us he plans on announcing his replacement for deputy chief. He says the position will actually now be shared between two officers. Those individuals have already been selected, and that announcement will be made at some point this week. Johnson Kuhn, Alaska's News Source.